So we're in Fresno, California, getting ready to flush this water heater out. This was installed about a year ago, uh, the Bradford White 50-gallon water heater, the URG 250T6N. And uh, so the flushing procedure, procedure is gonna be same for any water, almost any water heater that you have installed. This will be specific to Bradford White. Uh, so we're just gonna go step through step, uh, step by step real quick to take you through it so you've got documentation on how to, to uh, flush this yourself. Keep in mind, if you hire someone to do this, you're gonna spend about $2,000 over a 10-year period. And these guys right now we install for $15.95 and you can see that it's uh, much more expensive. So just do this yourself. It's a, it, there's no safety issues with doing it, Just but, but follow these steps carefully. So number one, of course, you're going to get a hose attached and get it out to a place to where you know the water's not flooding anything. Uh, and, and Bradford White has a brass valve down here, which is super nice, so we know this is going to flow correctly. So number one, get the hose connected. Number two, we want to get this, this gas uh, burner turned off, uh, so we're going to set it on pilot. You can turn it off, but if you do, you need to relight it, and, and sometimes uh, the older the water heater gets, you have trouble relighting it, and now you need a plumber to come back out. So just put it on pilot, that means the flame won't go out down here. So that's step number two, so that's good. Uh, now we want to get up top. Uh, you can, one or two things. Uh, so, you know, if you have a ladder to get up here and you're, and you're comfortable enough, we're fine. We, and you're comfortable of getting up there, great. All we're going to do as we start to drain this, we need to pop off that valve right there uh, to, to release the air in the system. If you don't want to get up there and do it, go inside the home and find the nearest faucet, open up the hot side only, and then you're gonna be good, okay? So step one, hook up the hose. Step two, turn to pilot. Step three, we wanna get up and turn this cold water off. And so on this uh, installation we have, there's a quarter turn, it's right there on, on top, on the right. Right there, you can't see it because there's insulation. So that guy, it's just a quarter turn on, quarter turn off. Now the water is off to the unit. Now we're gonna pop off the relief line, which we're gonna take it and stand that little pin. We're gonna stand it straight up and what that does is it releases the airlock on the system. If, if you don't ha open a faucet inside or the relief valve right here, this water heater will not drain. Once you've done that, everything's good. So again, step one, hook up your hose. Step two, turn this knob straight down to pilot. Step three, shut that water off. It's just a quarter turn valve and I can't get a picture of it because it's up on top. And then of course come here and open up the relief valve or go inside and open up a hot faucet in the home. Now we're going to take this slotted screwdriver and go ahead and turn this. It's just a quarter turn. And once we turn that, open it up. Just a quarter turn. Quarter turn. Right there. So the, the, usually what you would see when you have a slot in here, most of the other manufacturers with this slot, it's still a multi-turn valve. So you would need to take this and go uh, counterclockwise, turn, 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 turn until it's all the way open. Or clockwise, turn, 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 turn until it's off. With Bradford White, it's a quarter turn valve. So you can see now the slot is in line with the tank as opposed to here to the side. So it's draining currently. We're gonna go out and take a look at the hose out here. This is gonna take a little bit to drain. So we could be a half hour, 45 minutes. We need to get all the water drained down and also at the same time, sediment will come out of there. If anything's built up, it'll all get drained down. And then we'll take a short little video of, uh, of the reverse process to get things hooked back up. So as you can see right now, <clears throat> good flow. Um, and that's because it's a new water heater. This guy right here, uh, when you get an older water heater, you get thing that's been in there 15, 20, 25 years, what'll happen, you go to drain this water heater down, you will not get flow like that. Uh, right now it's just gravity draining. There's no pressure behind the water heater because the cold water's turned off. But we, we have them uh, to where we'll come out here and it's just trickling. And that's because the sediment is built up so severely that it's blocking that hole. And it's, and it's tip, more typical of the plastic valves, uh, the multi-turn valves down there where you have to turn and open up or even the slotted, uh, adjust, the, the slotted screw where you open it up. But it gets clogged and then you can't drain. So uh, anyway, it's draining real good. We're going to wait for this to, to get bone dry and then we'll, uh, we'll take another video and show you how to get this back online, get it filled up and get the burner on again. Um, and so we'll, we'll see you in a few. Okay, so second part of this video, we've got the water. The water is all drained out. We saw zero sediment coming out of this guy, which is good. It's a year old. You shouldn't see it. And that's going to depend on you know the municipality, which either it's Clovis, Fresno, uh, or you're out in the country on your own well water. 
what ends up in this. So the water coming in is still clean, so that's good. What we're gonna do to get started is we're just gonna go ahead and shut this drain valve off because it is completely empty. So we're gonna, we need to go perfectly side to side and that make, and let me just go ahead and turn a little bit more. It's gotta go a little bit more. It has to be perfectly perpendicular to the valve to shut this off. And I know it's a little bit fussy and you'll know. So that's pretty good, a little bit more. Just so you can see, it's just a little bit off. So just a tiny little bit and you'll know it's closed. Once it's closed, good. So you're good, that's off. I mean, and so now no water's gonna come out. We're gonna go ahead and hop up here and turn this water back on. And when we do, um, we're gonna leave this relief valve open. And in your case, you can certainly um, leave the faucet open inside. So to drain it, if you use the faucet, that's great. Leave it on because it's gonna allow the air that's built, you know, the air is, this is now full of air. The system has been open, but so the cold water, hot water system now has air in it. As you go back through the home, what's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna get pockets of air spitting out. So when you open a faucet, just be mindful. You're gonna open it and it's gonna sputter a little bit until all the air is out of the line and it'll just be water um, because the system is normally closed, which means uh, there's, there's no way for air to get in right now. So it's filling. That valve is up just to allow a lot of the air to escape. Uh, if, the, if you use the faucet in the home, just leave it open and you'll tell, you know, you can tell if you stand out here, just let it fill for a little bit. And then as soon as water starts sputtering out of the faucet, just let it run and run until the air goes away. Once you get a solid flow of water, then you're good. Shut the faucet off in the home. In our case, we're going to shut this relief valve off. So that's all you're going to do. You're going to fill the 50 gallons back up. This guy's off. The way to tell, at least with this valve, if you go out and look right now, if you see water coming out of the hose still, that means you don't quite have it lined up correctly. So you can see we've got no water coming out, which means we're in good shape. Uh, additionally, if you feel like, you know, I'm not real comfortable with that valve being open, uh, you know, 24-7, 365, which simply means, you know, even though it's closed, it's open. So let's go ahead and take that hose off and I'll show you what I mean by that. They do make hose caps for this. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. They run about three, four dollars. And it's the same threads that you would have for a garden hose. So that's what we have attached as a garden hose. They make a cap and then it has a rubber gasket inside the cap and you just take it and you screw it on here. And the only reason you would want to do that is just in case, you know, for whatever reason, if this were to ever start leaking, if you have the cap on there, you won't have any trouble. So you can do that. It's not mandatory. It's not a code thing. Uh, it's not a safety thing. It's just a preference. So you can put one on there if you'd like to. So while we were doing this, you, we, we noted that the tank is full now and that relief valve, uh, we, we closed it because water is now draining uh, outside of the building. So hop back up there. Let's activate it one more time and then let it pop down by itself. Go ahead. And you hear the very loud loud knocking. That means that, seated, that spring is seating correctly. Uh, so when it comes down and hammers like that, you know it's closed. Outside you can see this guy. This is where it drains down. So that relief valve, like I say, too much temperature, too much pressure, it's gonna come out right here, okay? And then when you activate that relief valve manually, of course, you're gonna drain water out of here. And if you do shut the cold water off to the unit like we did to drain the water heater down, it's just dumping any residual water and, and this is where the air is going to escape to allow it to drain. So this should never have water coming out of it. If you ever get water coming out of this, then give us a holler, we'll come out and see what we can do. Like I say, the first thing you can try on your own is trying to activate this relief valve up and down to make sure it's functioning correctly. So back to uh, the reverse order of a flush. So we've taken and shut the valve off. We've taken the hose off. We've gone back up, filled the water heater, shut the relief line or the faucet in the home if that's what you're using. And now what we'd like to do is go ahead and heat the water. So we're gonna turn it back up to hot only, just to hot. And so hot is gonna be approximately 120 degrees, okay? The only way to get a very good reading of, on the water heater and temperature to get a very accurate reading, you can two things. You can go to a faucet in the home, run it until it's completely hot because uh, since it's not on a, on a recirc anymore you're going to run that water the hot water is going to come through cold at first and then as that line clears you're going to get hot hot water and once it's fully hot go ahead and fill up about a gallon 
take a digital thermometer similar to what you would have for cooking your turkey or or whatnot and and, and make sure it's digital and stuff it in there and it'll tell you how hot the water is this is approximately 120 a 130 b 140 c 150 very hot 160 b 140 three, third degree burns three seconds you're going to the hospital so just be mindful of that if you start having trouble in the home with hot water either it's going hot, warm, cold, back and forth in a shower and you can't get it to stay still, then typically it's not the water heater. It's going to be a cartridge in the shower. Uh, in your case, since it's only a year old, I highly doubt that this would mis misfunction. Uh, if you're in the home and hot water has disappeared everywhere, every fixture in the home, then yes, it could be the water heater. But typically, just if it's a one fixture, something's going on, it's a, a, either a sink, with a single handle sink faucet with a cartridge, or it's going to be a shower cartridge and it just needs to be replaced. That's it. So keep that in mind. And the only reason I say all that, you can see right here, scalding risk increases with hotter water. Um, so you can turn it up, but uh, you run the risk of scalding. So keep that in mind. We leave it there at 120 for uh, liability purposes. So right now, uh, we're back online. Everything is done. Uh, you're at about 120 degrees, leave it there. About an hour and a half, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's gonna heat this water back up and then you're good to go. Um, outside of that, this installation is done.